Welcome back. Hey there. Let me just get this off my chest. Things have been crazy lately, and I need some outside perspective. I'll try to sum it up at the end for you. Back in February, my 31 female husband, 33, of one year, flew out to the UK for three weeks on an important business trip. However, things got extended, and him and his team had to stay behind for two more weeks to close the deal. It's the first time we were away from each other since we got together six years ago, so I was feeling all sorts of emotional. I do sometimes get overly clingy and overly emotional when things do not always work in my favor. It's how I've always been, and sometimes I admit it could make living with me a bit hard. I also do have some mental health issues which leads to insecurity and feelings of paranoia that my husband could be off cheating. And the fact that he extended his trip by two weeks did not do good to my fears. I even called his office and they confirmed to me that the whole team was still held back in the UK. During this time, I got close with our neighbor and things happened one night after watching a movie together. I know it's my fault for letting things get out of hand, but to be fair, I was beside myself with worry about husband situation. That night, my neighbor got pretty handsy with me, but I was so overcome with worry that I stopped it from escalating. But the next day I returned because I wanted to see where things would lead, so I would not have any regrets. And they did lead all the way. After this, I went back over to his place a few more times and he came over to mine. All the while, I was anxious about my situation with husband, but I did not feel a lot of guilt, which leads me to believe there's something wrong with me. Now, things got pretty messy when my husband got back home in early March with no warning beforehand. He thought he would surprise me, as if that was a good thing. The house was a complete disaster. Empty beer cans, snack wrappers all over, bed looking like a tornado hit it, dirty laundry strewn around. It was a scene. I guess it's understandable since I wasn't expecting husband to be back so unexpectedly. Otherwise, I would have cleaned up, especially the bed because that was such a telltale sign. When he asked, I just said I had been having friends over because I was lonely. We would play games, drink, and it was nothing out of the ordinary. I don't know if he believed me or not, but seeing the state of things, he decided to clean up a bit. I tried to stop him because I knew there could be incriminating stuff lying about, and there was. He found a bag in the trash with a used condom, the wrapper, and a toothbrush. My heart sank. My hands were shaking. It was surreal. I somehow managed to keep my composure and told my husband that there were two couples among the friends I invited over. And obviously there had been hanky-panky. My husband stared at me for a long moment, and in that moment, I knew he didn't believe me. So, I came clean about the affair, about being with the neighbor guy. My husband looked like I had hit him. He looked disappointed, hurt, angry, and scared all at the same time. I don't know what came over me, but the next thing I know, I'm on my knees begging for forgiveness, begging for another chance. But deep down, I'm not even sure if I deserve one. I know I messed up big time. There was only one condom, so I said it was just this one time because I was feeling so vulnerable without him. But he didn't buy it and said we could have been at it throughout the time he was away. My husband said he needs three things for us to move forward. One, it was a one-time thing. Two, it wasn't premeditated, just a stupid impulsive mess like maybe we were drunk. Three, there are absolutely no feelings between us. He said unless all these are met, he would be gone. He asked to see my phone conversations with the guy for the past few months to make sure we weren't planning anything or getting all lovey-dovey. But I deleted those conversations, no backup. So, all he's left with is to trust me. And honestly, if he saw those messages, there would be no salvaging our marriage anyway. My gut tells me he's probably better off without me. I'm thinking of asking for a divorce. He's already talked to a lawyer from what I heard. And I don't want him to be the one to serve me. I would rather it be the other way around. So, what do you guys think? I know I wronged him, but I feel there has to be a way to work around this. Surely couples face more challenging situations every day and still continue with their relationships. I'm all ears, looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Thanks for being an outlet for all this drama. Update. Hello everyone, I wanted to share a recent update on the situation I posted about earlier. Thank you all for your advice and support. It's been an incredibly challenging time, but I appreciate having this community to turn to. 
After some deep reflection and more conversations, my husband and I sat down to talk again. I knew it was time to be completely honest about everything, and that meant sharing the truth about the affair that took place during his business trip. It was a difficult conversation, but I felt it was necessary for both of us to have a clear understanding of what had happened. He listened, while I admitted my wrongdoings, the mistakes I made, and the lack of consideration for his feelings. It was a raw and emotional moment, but I felt that being completely transparent was crucial. In response, my husband expressed a mix of emotions. He was hurt, angry, and confused, but he was also trying to process what I was telling him. He asked for some time to think, and I agreed, giving him the space he needed to process everything. During this period, he reached a decision and communicated his thoughts to me. He told me that he was hurt not only by the affair itself, but also by the lies and deception that followed. He said that trust had been broken and that rebuilding it would be a long and difficult journey. He asked me to leave the house, explaining that he needed time to decide what he wanted for our future. However, I refused because despite what I did, I'm still his wife. And thus I still have legal rights to the house and I couldn't just leave without a plan in place. We're currently at a point where tensions are high and emotions are still very raw. He's tried a lot of tactics to get me out, getting extremely angry, violent outbursts, guilt tripping, and just being manipulative all around. But I've got nothing to lose at this point, so I've told him point blank that I won't move out. I understand that he needs time to process everything and make a decision about what he wants moving forward, but he's gonna have to do so with me in the house. Don't get me wrong, I'm deeply remorseful for the pain I've caused, and I'm committed to taking responsibility for my mistakes. But I don't believe this is the way our story needs to end. I've got so much more to offer. No, not to the neighbor. Frick y'all. I know there's a long road ahead, but I'm willing to put in the effort to rebuild the trust if that's what's going to be needed to salvage this marriage. I truly believe that every couple faces their own unique challenges, and it's possible to work through difficult situations if both parties are willing to put in the effort. I'm still hopeful for a chance to rebuild our relationship, but I'm also preparing for the possibility that my husband might decide it's best for us to part ways. Thank you all again for your support, advice, and understanding. It means a lot to have a space to share and receive guidance during such a difficult time. I'll continue to keep you updated as things progress. Please keep us in your thoughts and send positive vibes our way. Final update. Hello, so I'm back to give another update. My husband recently served me with divorce papers, which really shattered my heart to pieces. I was holding on to this very slim hope, but I guess he really wants to be done with the whole thing. Although we still share the same house, there's a palpable tension and he's been avoiding me, like I'm COVID positive. Throughout the process, our families have been involved and aware of the situation. They understandably have not been supportive of my actions and the choices I've made. My parents and in-laws both ripped me a new one and currently we aren't on speaking terms. So I'm kind of going through this on my own. It's just been so very hard. The thought of divorce scares me, not just because of the potential shame in our society, but also because of the impact it would have on me. I do acknowledge the mistakes I've made, but I'm also afraid of being alone and having to support myself again. That fear might have contributed to my intense reaction when my husband confronted me about me leaving the house. I do care about my husband, and I'm coming to terms with the fact that I need to take responsibility for my actions. The idea of not being together anymore is painful but perhaps it's a consequence I need to face. I have been wanting to start a family, and these past few days I've been feeling very sick, so I feel there may be hope on that front. I understand that might not be on the table now given the circumstances, but I also feel my husband would not abandon his child either. So maybe a baby would actually be the fix here? I'm aware that people in our small town might eventually find out about our situation, and it's something I'll need to deal with. I'm heading out in a bit to get a pregnancy test done at the lab. I've tested with the home kits, but they've turned up negative. I'm shuddering and I feel sick just thinking what would become if I'm not indeed pregnant. Is it really the end for us? Edit, I'm not pregnant. Comments. Reading this whole saga is like witnessing a train wreck in slow motion. OP, you had a loving husband who was away on a business trip, and what did you do? You betrayed his trust, cheated on him with the neighbor, and then had the audacity to hide it and lie about it. And now you're surprised that your marriage is falling apart? You're trying to act all remorseful, but your actions speak louder than your words. 
You destroyed your own marriage and hurt everyone involved. You deserve all the consequences coming your way. Your behavior is absolutely reprehensible. And then you expect sympathy for your overly clingy and emotional tendencies? That's not an excuse. That's just a weak attempt at justifying your actions. Your husband deserves better than this, and I'm glad he's taking steps to move on from someone who clearly has no respect for commitment and loyalty. Reading this is infuriating. OP, you've shown a complete lack of integrity and respect for your marriage. You say there has to be a way to work around this? No, there doesn't. Your husband had every right to serve you with divorce papers. You've shattered his trust and broken your vows. The fact that you deleted messages shows your intention to deceive. Your actions have consequences, and it's time you face them instead of seeking sympathy from strangers on the internet.